let's get one thing straight here. I love biscuits. I love baking them, I love eating them, and I love stirring my own twists into the dough. Because once you know how to make biscuits, you're golden. You're marked for life. You're one of us. And even if somebody says strawberry shortcake in the dead of winter, you'll know exactly what to do. Because shortcake is just code for sweet biscuits. The basic recipe calls for four cups of white flour, half a cup of white sugar, and for lots of traditional baking flavor, nutmeg. People ask me all the time what the secret ingredient is in my shortcake. Well, now you know. Every summer I bake a thousand of these for a giant fundraiser. That's a whole lot of grated frozen butter and a couple of grated knuckles too. And of course, this frozen butter trick is the single best way to cut fat into your biscuits. Now here's a way to add a little extra bonus richness to your biscuits. Whisk an egg into the milk before you whisk the milk into the dough. One of the things I like best about shortcakes is that unlike biscuits, with shortcakes you can get away with coating the top with lots of crunchy little sugar bits. Any raw coarse sugar works well for this. Now here's a real challenge. How do you make strawberry shortcake in the dead of winter when your supermarket is still stocking fresh wooden berries? Too easy. Head for the freezer, because I'll take frozen ripe flavor over fresh bland any day. Here's what you do. Thaw the berries and strain the juices. Whisk in a cup of strawberry jam and simmer the works until it thickens. Then, gently stir the mixture into the berries. And as soon as everything's cool, you're cool. Winter berries. And it doesn't matter what time of year it is, it's against the rules to serve strawberry shortcake without whipped cream. 